my friends and I have had some issues getting old barley cooked well and consistently in the instant pot or another pressure cooker. So I'm going to show you what I do that I haven't seen posted online that I get good results from. I'm going to start with a cup of old barley. I'm pre-boiling the water to make it go a little faster. I'm going to use a 3 to 1 ratio. use less or more depending on your preference but I don't recommend going as low as 2.5 to 1. So I'm going to put the lid on and start it on the rice setting. That's 12 minutes at low pressure. We'll come back in a minute after that's done and the pressure has naturally released. The pressure has naturally released and I'm getting ready to cook it a second time. That's what it looks like right now. So while it was cooking and the pressure was releasing, chop some onion and crush some garlic. One of the nice things about the pressure cooker is you can crush garlic on a plate. You don't have to mince it and you don't have to wash the plate as much as you have to wash a cutting board. Have a bay leaf as well. If you're only using the bay leaf a little like this, then you can take it out and cook it again, like if you're cooking a pot of soup. So now that I've got everything in, I'm going to stir it up a little bit. So now that the first cooking's done and I've added my other ingredients, I'm going to put it on the rice setting again and cook it for an additional 12 minutes at low pressure. I'm about to have a drink with lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, and creatine. Pro tip, if you're already having these things together, add a little cayenne. Helps you become famous on the Instagram, be a fitness influencer. The pressure just naturally released. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it and show you what it looks like. Not a lot of excess water, but you could use a little less water if you want it to separate more easily. Hope this works well for you. Let me know if you have any feedback.